Hello guys, I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while. Welcome back to the Super Shows. My name's Nisha. My name's Henry. Today we are going to be reviewing board games. We're going to review them out of 10 and we're going to do it on our own opinion. Yeah, so first up we have Exploding Kittens. I don't know if any of you have seen this game before. Um, it basically is a card game. And it's like if you get an exploding kitten, you blow up basics, I guess. It says a card game for people who are into kittens and explosions and laser beams, laser beams and sometimes stuff. So this is just a fu really fun game. Um, I would rate this one probably. I really like the detail in this one, so um, I would rate this one. 8.5 out of 10. For me, this one's like good. And I like it a lot because I like kittens and I can't do like looking at explosions. <laughs> and so I would think this one would, I don't want to put it too high because I know we have other games to uh, review. So I would say it's like a 7 out of 10. I don't know. Okay, let's put that one yeah. off to the side. Next up, we have Cubits. So I don't think this is really that much of a popular game. It's basically a bunch of designs, and you have to be the first one to do it. Like here are some of the cards and the design. Um, I enjoy it, but it's not. It's okay. I would rate this one a six point five out of ten. I don't really like this, not because Nish and my mom always win, it's just like, it's not really that fun to me. So I like, I would rate it 4 out of 10. It's not a good game. So here's the next game, it's called Brain Quest. So basically you answer questions and you move, um, you can move places. And then once, and then it's like whoever wins or something. And so it's just like a brain game. Um, it's like a brain game, but I tend to think it's like really fun and interesting. So I would give this one a eight. Oh, really high score. So this is basically where you have cards and um, they have questions you have to answer them to move on. So I like this game, but I wouldn't get like so high. Like I think exploding kittens are still better. So I would say this as like uh, I don't know, maybe like a six or five, or probably like a six, six point five. Okay. Uh, next game up is Catan. So I don't think this is a very popular game. Also, it's like has a weird name. I don't think a lot of you have heard about it. Um, it's just, it's this really long game. It's very complicated. But once you get the hang of it, this game is loving. Um, it has like, you make settlements, houses, build roads. You get, you earn resources. Yeah, there's a lot of rules to this game. But once, since I got the hang of this game, I love this game. It's like really good. So I'm going to give this one. This is really hard. Nine. I love this game too. Like, I know what to get the hang of it. It's like awesome. Like, you could do it when you're six, even though it says ages 10 plus. But you can do one in six. Like, it was really fun learning this game. I would put it as a nine. I'm not in too close to tens. I would do like an eight. Eight would be for this game. So for me, this one's in the high right now. Okay, the grand finale. We have. I'm pretty sure you can already see it, but it's Monopoly. So a lot of people have this game, but it's like comes in different versions. So we have like the normal game. It's just normal. So I wouldn't put this one this high, even though it's the grand finale. Just because this one, 
I feel that it gets boring after a while. So I'm gonna put, I'm not gonna put this one too low, just saying, because it's kind of an hour, but you know, it's technically high, but not quite a good amount. I would put this one at an 8.5. Ooh, yeah, okay. Maybe I would do that, but not. Since my high right now is Gatan right here, it's like 8. I don't know if I, I get it, like it's tiring after a while. Like, you might like it a lot, but it's a very long game, like Gatan. But I think it's a little complicated. It's not really that complicated, so you can learn it pretty well. Um, uh, I would say, I don't know, this one's hard work for me. 7.5. Okay, so now that we have both have chosen our top 10, uh, well, our top one, I should just say that, um, we are going to go show you. So, for my top 10, it was Catan. It got a 9 out of 10. This game is really good. I do recommend getting it if you're willing to learn the rules. If you don't like long rules and with a lot of rules, then this one isn't for you. If you don't like long games, this one isn't for you either. But I enjoy this one very much. And what was your pick? So this was also mine. It got eight out of ten. None of them got nine like hers did, or none of them. Both of us got ten out of ten. This one was eight out of ten for me. This one was good because I like long games. I like games that don't really end short, so like you actually get to feel the win. Um, and like I said, like Nishta said, it. If you're not like willing to read long things and you don't like long games, probably not for you. If you like long games like me and like yeah. to read all the rules and get like really good at it, that like it's really fun for you, well, this one might be for you. There's some other versions, I think, so maybe you want to get one of those, but this one was my top pick for me, so. Yeah, yeah. and also this is the normal version if you want to get the one we have. There, there's also um, a bunch of them. Um, Thank you for watching the super shot and hope you like this video. So bye. bye.